Hello everyone, this is Kay. I'm going to be beginning Tomb Raider today. Uh, this is the 2013 reboot of the classic Tomb Raider series. Uh, the, only, the only Tomb Raider that I ever played was a demo for... I forget which one. And all that I remember was jumping around on the rooftops of, I want to say, Venice and swimming in a pool. So, this is a blind playthrough, so please uh, don't post any spoilers. Uh, I don't know anything about this game. That said, I have played the first, like, 15 minutes of it already. Um, I had started to record it, and, um, well, I, I did. I recorded all the way up to, essentially, the first bonfire. And, um, and when I checked the footage back, it was, it was not usable. So I have to start it over again. Um, so, so this first, probably, episode is going to be, uh, not blind. And I'll let you know when I reach a new point. It'll probably be right at the end of this episode. Um, Alright, let's create a new save game. We're going to play on normal difficulty. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. Dun dun dun. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us Do it this time. Jump farther. In the first 20 minutes of this game, Lara does an incredible amount of falling. She falls off of everything. They really throw you right into the action. This opening sequence is kind of terrifying. And I expect it will nearly give me a heart attack, even though I know what's coming. Oh! <sighs> 
There are no good reasons to be strung up in a sack from the ceiling. This only ever ends poorly. Ends badly. Jonah! And nudge this God, other other body probably into the fire. Bonk. Oh. I can't die like this. All right, got a flaming beam that we will use to light our own rope on fire. This, this is gonna hurt. Man, what a crazy introduction. Ow, 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 ow. Uh. Doesn't get any easier to watch. God. Uh. Right. So we're so scared and in so much pain that we have blurry vision. At the moment, the only buttons that do anything are the uh, like controller sticks and L1. And at this point, we don't know what that does. It just makes the world gray. So I said we should pick up one of these things as like a weapon, but I guess she doesn't want to touch what look like human bones and Tons of them. Like, look at how many bones there are here. This is like a lot of bodies. <laughs> oh god. No, no, no. What is this place? What happened to you? I don't think we recognize this person. That's like an old buoy. These little seashell decorations. Alright, we got ourselves a weapon. Light this on fire and like a an old a skull and like a can of bleach or something. What does that say? It says now something starting with a W. Now with oh, I think it's bleach. Somebody heard us. The old, like, Spanish helmet. And cans of, like, cola. A lot of bottles. Alright, we gotta move. Somebody knows we're here. Relit and jump up here. Light this thing of a jig on fire. Clear a passage. Like I said, already already done this bit before, so no surprises. Oh. Well, he definitely knows we're here now. There he is. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Stop it. Go, 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 go. Don't go back. No, you're not. Oh shit, that was close. No. Keep go go forward. You're just trying to eat me.
Buddy, if you're in the helping people business, you don't do a very good job of it, judging by the number of skeletons. Find a way out. Alright, extinguish our torch again. So we want to go this way. We need to find a way out. To go this way. That downed aircraft. More fire. Thank God. Alright. What kind of contraption is this? So you notice here if I hit L1, it kind of shows you interactable things, like the Floaty barrels are important, these things are important, so let's light them on fire. Now we have a lift. We can jump onto it from over here. Kind of dump some garbage up into a container. Sort of an odd little puzzle. We light the garbage on fire, and then we push it down into the water. I guess it hits this depth charge and these explodey barrels. Gotta get out of here! Go faster! We almost got crushed by a plane. Not going that way. Lara is falling. Totally hit that. I totally hit that. You lie to me, game. I might have hit X. I actually got squished by this thing like three times the first time. There we go. Ow. I think he's chasing me anymore. Run, run, run. She is a fast climber. Reflexes like a cat. Or a mongoose. Mongooses have pretty quick reflexes. So we have almost drowned. We have been stabbed through the gut. We have almost been cannibalized. We've fallen many times. Here is our first glimpse at this, I guess, island, probably, that we've washed up on. And look at all the shipwrecks and plane wrecks. Definitely has a, like, Bermuda Triangle vibe going on. Big landmass, whatever, even if it is an island, it's big.
and they don't let me walk off the edge. It's already easier than Dark Souls. Plain wreck. Yeah. Lots of storms in this area. Dangerous sailing. Get ourselves a rock to use as a weapon. of other survivors. It's kind of pretty if I weren't getting chased by a cannibal. Okay, take it slow. Not a problem. Heights are one thing that not scare me at all. Oh god. I guess a plunge into icy rocky water would be kind of bad though. Okay. We're good. Secret door behind the waterfall? Probably. But I think I would die trying. selling me on the storm. Huh? Okay. This is some sort of like World War II era aircraft, I believe. I couldn't tell you the, the model of plane that I could do this. Totally do this. We got this. Uh. This game is bad for your heart. that say something? I don't know. Just some piece of equipment. Alright, we're right above the lifeboat now. All scramble. Ah, sorry. Sam! They must have come this way. Sam is totally a girl, not a man. I'm on to you, video games. Okay. I hit X. You told me to hit X. But they want Lara to fall. You lied to me, game. You told me I could hit X to grab on.
Oh, good. Wolves. Also, creepy shell ornaments here, too. Ooh, flowers. I got a whole, like, Blair Witch thing going. <coughs> we are cold. We are wet. We are alone. Looks abandoned. We are somebody's dinner. Is anyone listening? Please respond. Go. She's quite handy. Survivalist. Single match remains. Cut it in half. Cut it in half lengthwise. Make two matches. She probably doesn't have a knife. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? But it's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. You've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamata... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. That's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. <sighs> Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> the stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously Enough. cons- Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? Good question. 
we don't like Whitman. got to find something to eat. Alright, so we met a whole lot of characters in that cutscene. We've got our friend Sam, who is, her family is funding the expedition. We've got the other archaeologist, Whitman, who also is funding the expedition. We've got the Captain Roth. We've got the uh, these kind of salty pirate. Uh, what was his name? Grim, Jonah, Reyes, uh, who we saw on the island before we got captured. Uh, we also have Alex, who is the guy at the computer. And there were a couple other people in that room, too. I think. Alright, well, I'm, I'm going to cut this here just to make sure that this actually recorded well. And then uh, we'll continue into the into the forest to try to get some food for Lara. I'll see you shortly, guys. Bye, all. <laughs>